Hey, today we will have a small b-roll behind the scenes of uh, this clip that I have shot right now. And uh, I have actually zero clue what I'm going to do, except for the first shot, so this will be really interesting. Normally I am storyboarding all of my stuff, but uh, today I thought it could be interesting to go from one to the next picture and see what I can actually do before doing anything. So this will be the cocktail shot and the cocktail b-roll in that case. And I hope that you actually can get something out of it, so without further ado, let's actually go into the first shot and see what it's all about. Whee! So I've actually set this up here on my small uh, desk and the first scene will be the glass rolling into the scene like whoosh. I hope this actually looks good and uh, it will be shot in slow motion of course 60 frames per second 4k with the pocket and after that we'll see what the next shot will be I've prepared most of my stuff already that I want to include but I'm not sure if or how and with what kind of stuff so I'm pretty sure I'm going to shoot something handheld probably on my slider and probably on the gimbal as well uh, not, not really satisfied Maybe I'll just slide it in, that's much easier. I think I'll take the sliding one. And the next shot will be some ice cubes falling into the glass from down under. So I have to actually take the glass and put it onto my lens, <laughs> which I really don't like. But I have a small adapter uh, that I can screw on in front of the lens so that it actually does not touch it, but on the adapter. So I have to rebuild this set for a few seconds and uh, then we get you to see. If you are a filmmaker, always have some money in your pockets to unscrew some screws. One of the best tips. <laughs> okay, interesting construction. <laughs> I really don't like the construction, but at least I was clever enough to buy two of those glasses up front. Uh, because <laughs> yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. So let's get the ice cubes. Should we find out the focus? Small idea, use some tape to actually pin down the glass on the adapter ring. And the focus is also correct. Always remember to clean your lenses and desks and stuff when you're shooting B-roll with some uh, liquids so that it take, so that it actually still looks really good. Now let's introduce uh, our three ingredients, four in that case, but I don't have to use the fourth. That's going to be stuff uh, at the back. We have whatever that is in. I actually don't know hazelnut. Uh, we have a hazelnut. Uh, liquor but it's harder 40% then we have liquor 43 and we have some express liquor which is really leather which is really nice and we're going to mix it from lightest color to highest color afterwards but now we're shooting that uh, first introduction scene I've laid out some coffee beans on the table and we're going to use the slider and we're going to make a nice pen from left to right or right to left I haven't decided yet and uh, then speed it up in post afterwards I'm pretty sure Actually, if you're interested, uh, what kind of slider am I using? This is a sl slider mini, it is called. It's a travel slider. It only has 20 centimeters. I've made a review about it. I think it was the first video that I've ever uploaded here onto YouTube, so the quality is 
<laughs> but overall it has all the features included that I need. Uh, the only thing is this is normally not really practical with such a heavy cinema setup. So I have to, when I use it, I have to actually use it on my tripod. No problem actually, but uh, if you want to go out there then taking the pocket with you and the slider and the tripod is a bit much. So I have to use actually the Sony camera on the slider. And maybe we are actually going to shift the focus from behind to the front. I think that could actually look really good to try it. Yes, but I zoomed, I zoomed to the wrong. <laughs> Once more. Record. Two. Three. I think we got the shot. As you can see behind me, I have my camera set onto my gimbal, which is onto my tripod. And that is quite a wild combination. And uh, then I actually set the gimbal to auto rotate, which means I set, I set two points and uh, one is a bit above the thing here. And one is right around there. And um, I hope that it's fast enough that it can catch the catch the no deckel in German uh, when it's uh, onto the ground. So let's try that. I think that was not fast enough. Actually, that was fast enough. I was just uh, interesting. The gim the gimbal itself was good. I was just too fast. Fuck that. Let's try that once more. Okay. And. Ah! <laughs> ooh, that actually, ooh, that actually looked really good. I, I'll take that shot. That actually really looked good. The first one looked shit, but the second one was, mm-hmm. Second bottle. And third bottle. Yep, good, 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 good. Now to the pouring, the mixing and stuff. I think for the next shot we're actually going handheld while pouring in. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because I have to focus, so I don't think I'll focus really. I'm going to do a movement like this while pouring in. This could be interesting. Yeah. Yay. Got it. So let's go to the next one and just <laughs> reuse some of that stuff because it's really heavy. So the next one will actually be a rotation shot from the top. I hope I can actually pull that off. Let's see. The first one looked really nice, so I'm going to go with that. Maybe I'll shoot this one as well. Monitor! Ah, there's cable. There's the monitor. Oh yeah, it's on the camera. <laughs> Stupid me, it's on the camera. So let's actually try a pouring shot from the top so that it looks like it comes straight to the lens. But uh, hopefully it's not coming straight to the lens, so let's try that. Nope. Nope. I did not like that. For fuck's sake. Actually, the third shot will be a really nice panning shot from the top. With just a little bit of slithering on the edge of the glass. So. The 
last one was good. And now to the final shot. This will be a panning shot with the complete kit. It will look like this. So I have already dialed in the focus and then it will be a revealing shot of the cocktail. And while I'm doing that, I'm taking some whipped cream and actually while pulling it in, I'm going to hopefully One you go. It was even too 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 far right now. I know it looks fucking fantastic. I'll take that. Oh, <laughs> this looks great. We're actually done. I actually think these are all the shots that we needed. And uh, if that is so, then yay, we're done. Let's see the whole thing once more. Thank you very much for watching. how you would normally actually make that kind of drink. Mix everything in a third and then just top it off with some whipped milk. Give it a steer, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. That's really good. My name is Leech and uh, if you want to consider subscribing and we'll just see us in the next video. Goodbye.